Hello, Assalamu alaikum. This is the LLM Auto Pen Tester Group from the School of Mathematics and Computer Science. And this was our research project for finally a project for our BSCS degree. Next slide. Okay, so our project LLM Auto Pen Tester essentially is a way where we designed a research experimental setup in order to make a framework that would autonomously conduct the pen testing process. Uh, so our goal was to make a framework that does the whole pen testing process. Uh, it dynamically analyzes the outputs and all the results it gets and then decides what, uh, what to do next with minimal human input. Um, the problem statement we had was that uh, small and medium businesses in Pakistan have very little to none experience in cybersecurity or well desire for cybersecurity. Uh, so we wanted to make a way for them for them to meet their cybersecurity needs without actually paying the costly price of an actual cybersecurity expert. So they would just use our system, put uh, point it to their target website or web server, and our system would generate the whole report and conduct the whole pen testing process for them. Uh, it would end up saving them costs in the sense that they won't really need a costly experience pen tester and all. Okay, so these were the research questions uh, which we used to judge our, our system. Uh, how well can it conduct the pen test without uh, human involvement? Is it actually feasible? Can it actually be an alternative to the traditional pen testing methods such as an actual pen tester or automated software like OpenVAS, GVM, etc.? And how accurate it was in detecting the vulnerabilities and how does it compare to what, what already exists like OpenVAS, GVM, Nessus, etc.? So this was our workflow. So over here we have our user and their goal and their only contribution would be to give the target, like for example, a website like www.iba.edu.pk, they'd only provide that, nothing else. And then that website would get sent to our main controller, uh, which was built in Python. And its job would be to uh, manage the whole thing, manage the whole workflow, et cetera. The user provides the target. The target then gets processed by first off an initial scan done and that through that scan, we get uh, results. All these scans, they're being uh, done in our Docker con Dockerized environment of Kali Linux. So it's like, so you can just plug and play this whole system anywhere you want. And the next thing that happens is that uh, once the outputs of that first initial scan come in, they get sent to our LLM. So this LLM essentially acts as, as the brain. We have given this LLM complete control over it as well as given it dynamic decision-making capabilities. Uh, we have further enhanced the LLM by implementing a RAG via Langchain. And using this, we essentially, what happens is that it gets the output. The LLM looks at the output, it analyzes them, and then it makes a tiny report which tells okay, what was found from the output, uh, what it learned from the output, and then the LLM using its dynamic decision-making capabilities autonomously decides what next step to take. Uh, for example, an NMAP scan was done, the LLM would see the output of NMAP scan and would perhaps decide further NMAP scan, or maybe it would decide, okay, hey, I ran the NMAP scan was run, I saw that port 80 was open and a web server is running, maybe I should run GoBuster on it. So all this decision-making capabilities, which would typically be done by a pen tester, they are all being done by the LLM. The LLM decides what command to execute next. This command gets sent back uh, into our main controller. And over there, what happens is that uh, this keeps happening in a feedback loop, essentially, in a loop-based structure. So uh, it gets the output, sends to the LLM, it analyzes, makes a tiny report based on what it finds. And this keeps going on and provides the next command. And this keeps going on until the LLM decides that it has conducted enough. And then it would be generating a finalized report. And in that report, it would contain all the vulnerabilities it found. It would be technically be a vulnerability assessment report where it lists down all the vulnerabilities it found on the target alongside providing some remediation steps for it. The methodology and technologies we use. So on the back end, we had Flask running alongside Python for our main controller and Docker. And inside that Docker container, we were running a custom Kali Linux machine with some pre-installed tools. 
And for the LLM, essentially what we were running was a RAG. We ran the RAG via Langchain and Elasticsearch. Alongside that, so what we did was to gauge the effectiveness on the system. We tested it on multiple different LLMs. For example, GPT-4, Mistral, Bard, DeepSeek, Quen. What we did was that we ran the, these LLMs using their API or through local means. And we would test the effectiveness on the report capability, report generation, as well as how many vulnerabilities were identified, as well as like the whole process it took uh, and how it varied between the different types of LLMs. Now what we'll do is that we'll demonstrate this process to you. So I'm going to demonstrate to you how our workflow exactly works. So first off, we will be using a machine on TryHackMe for testing uh, our project. Over here, we have been given an IP assigned to that machine. Yeah, and over here we have our Docker container running and this Docker container is running Kali Linux. Our code base will be communicating with this container in order to perform the whole pen testing pro process automatically. This is our code base over here. We are running in LLM and the beauty of our research paper research project is that we don't really have to know what pen testing and everything is. Uh, all we have to do is just give the IP of our target, which was available on TryHackMe, and the LLM will autonomously conduct the whole pen testing process on it. So once we provided the IP, the LLM will start. And the LLM starts by a first affixed seeded command of nmap, which we can see on the screen in the terminal. And once that command executes, then the LLM starts its whole flow. It gets an output from that nmap command, and that output is fed back to the LLM uh, with zero human intervention. Okay, so as we can see, the LLM is currently executing the nmap command. Over here, we can see that our LLM, which is working, is using a RAG-based infrastructure with the Langchain. And uh, the beauty of it is that we wrote the whole uh, uh, RAG-based uh, uh, database uh, on Chroma DB uh, by ourselves uh, through making uh, flags for each command. then the LLM is running. Since this conducts the whole pen testing process, it takes a while for it to execute. Okay, so as we can see, the nmap command has executed. And so what happened is that this command, the seeded command, It got sent now to our LLM, which was running on RAG, running on using Elasticsearch. Over here, we can see that the query it got, it analyzed it. Now the RAG processed this and we have received a result. Since the RAG got this output, the RAG also generated the next command which we are supposed to uh, execute. From our list of tools over here, we can see that the rag generated this command. And this is the next command which was suggested by the uh, LLM running on rag uh, for us to execute. Now this command is currently executing. And also when our first nmap command got executed, we were we received a report which got made. So this is our partial report which gets made after every command's execution. And we will keep getting these reports until the whole pen testing process is complete 
on our target website. These were all the reports that got generated after each tool got executed. So we have our first report, which was made by the first tool execution. Then each subsequent report utilized the results of the first tool and the tool after it until the end most report, which is our finalized report, which contains all the findings of uh, the whole pen test, which essentially is our vulnerability analysis, which the LLM has provided. Okay, so over here we can see that this is the first report which was generated. This is like very subpar in quality since only a single tool was uh, used. And as we can see, not much findings are on, on it. As we can see, this is the second report. And over here we see that certain more findings were found such as CVEs were more were found among other things. Like it has identified some of the services which was running as well. So as it continues on, it improves the report. It makes more findings since it uh, the LLM uses more tools. And using this, as we can see in our finalized report, it is able to uh, summarize the critical findings on which services they were, as well as which CVEs the target website is uh, affected with. Also that it categorizes the findings based on the severity. So the critical findings were found first, some important findings as well as some moderate uh, findings as well. And this is how our tool, the LLM auto pen tester is functioning. Furthermore, we can see that we also get recommendations on how to remediate the vulnerabilities which it was which were found so for example for the open ssh vulnerability which was found cve 2023 uh, it's telling us that to patch we should patch it so that we are no longer affected with it and it's also advising us to uh, upgrade the a a patch server to its latest version or a version which is not vulnerable to the CVE which is current currently affected by. This is how our research project, the LLM Auto Pen Tester, is functioning in its way to automate the whole pen testing process. Uh, furthermore, as you can see, there was no human intervention at all uh, in this in this whole process. The only human intervention was of providing the IP, and after that, the whole the whole system ran autonomously without any human intervention, uh, solely utilizing the LLM, which uh, which had a rag LLM communicated with the Docker container, which was running Kali, and it did the whole process by itself. Finally, we would like to thank our dear supervisor, Dr. Faisal Iradat, without whose help we would not have been able to achieve this much. And we would also like to thank our mentor, Pete Herzog, uh, who guided us through this and was a great help in helping us make our system achieve what it is. Uh, thank you for watching. Allah Hafiz.